If you have tinnitus, you hear sounds that are not coming from the world around you. Only you can hear them. The sounds can be whistling, buzzing, or humming. Tinnitus is common. It affects about 10 to 15 percent of people. However, most tolerate it well, while it is a significant problem for 1 to 2 percent of people. Tinnitus is a symptom. It is often caused by exposure to loud sounds, but it can have many other causes. For instance, it can be a reaction to certain medications or a part of the natural aging process. How does sound just start up inside the head? It's probably the brain trying to compensate for the loss of hair cells in the inner ear. The hair cells are the link between the sound waves you hear and the part of your brain that translates that sound into meaning. If the hair cells are damaged for some reason, you may experience tinnitus and loss of hearing. Hearing loss and tinnitus often coexist. In fact, 90% of people with tinnitus also experience some degree of hearing loss. Not everyone who has tinnitus is bothered by it. It's a very individual experience, and some people are able to ignore it. For others, the tinnitus is very troublesome and is alarming to the brain. The brain perceives tinnitus as a potential threat and goes into defense mode. It sends stress signals to the rest of the brain and the body. However, the tinnitus cannot be avoided as it dwells inside the head. You focus more and more on the sound because you unconsciously perceive it as a threat. Then it gets even more aggravating, which further triggers the brain's stress center. This starts a cycle of distress, which can be very difficult to escape. But something can be done. You need to break the cycle and take control over your tinnitus. There are several ways to achieve this control. Since tinnitus affects each person differently, the solution is equally individual. When you consult an audiologist, a suitable treatment plan can be designed for you. The purpose of having a treatment plan is to develop strategies that help you push the tinnitus into the background where it belongs. You may find that listening to different types of sound can take your attention away from your tinnitus or relax you and provide relief. This is what your audiologist will refer to as sound therapy and as part of the treatment plan. This can include hearing aids, which help by amplifying the surrounding sounds, Combination devices, which are hearing aids with special programs for tinnitus relief. Sound therapy devices are available ranging from white noise machines to mobile phone apps. They play various sounds to reduce the sound of tinnitus. Soothing music or nature sounds that reduce the contrast between tinnitus and quiet environments. You can also apply changes to your lifestyle that will help you change the way you react to tinnitus. Relaxation and mindfulness exercises can help reduce the intensity of tinnitus for some people. Practicing yoga and meditation can be helpful. Avoid loud sounds by wearing ear protection when you are in environments with loud noises and make sure to listen to music at a moderate level. Try to stay positive as negative or angry feelings can make tinnitus seem worse. A healthy diet and exercising can have a positive impact on your life. How you will gain control of tinnitus 
will probably involve a combination of these techniques. But there is relief to be found for all who struggle with tinnitus. A professional audiologist will be able to give you the right advice and together you can make a plan.